I will rarely make videos says, can you use a translator on your mom? I never thought of doing that, good idea. Here's a totally real translator. Now uh, if you will, could you say something? <laughs> hey my little small fries, Ricky here. Welcome back to Ricky's comments. Today is a special episode in more than one way. First, I'd like to introduce a friend that agreed to help me today. Say hello to Horror Force. <coughs> Congrats to Jimmy the Elf for correctly guessing him and his name. Absolute legend. Second, you've been quite busy with my challenge. So of course, today is the day I will review your challenge submissions. So stay tuned for that. Without further ado, let's get to your comments first. <coughs> Colton Shortle says, Are you aware that every big run more and more small fries are being kidnapped? No. Maybe they are just not being kidnapped fast enough, because they seem to be spawning faster than they disappear. They're in my fridge and I hate it. Please get them out. Chili is short says, Ricky, I request to join your army. I'm sick of sleeping under my tent umbrella whilst barely making enough money to buy two minute noodles. Please consider my application. You're in. You just have to sign this contract that releases us from all liability in case of any injury, dismembering, devouring, immolation, suffocation or death. By signing you agree that you're now the Salmonid Army's property and have no will of your own. You also get a free frying pan. This dude says, did you ever try riding on Boris back? Also how was the photo shoot for the new statue they made of you? No, I didn't try to ride on his back. He doesn't like it. Right buddy? <coughs> See? He's furious even talking about it. <coughs> That's great for you. The epicness says, does Steve have the same return to life power as you? I don't know. But it's worth trying, right? Yura Matt says, why does Zuna have the voice of Bonzi buddy? Because voice actors cost money. Wait, do you not like my voice? I thought for sure that it sounded pretty cool. Pikmin Amigo says, whatever you do, do not listen to the telephone in the deep sea metro. Do not let it take you to the promised land. Please Ricky, do not go near the tel- Hello sir, is your statue running? <coughs> Scrub King says, can you give us a teaser for the next salmon run stage? Sure thing. It will be a giant cooking pot, and if you fall into the boiling water, you die and your save file gets deleted. I think it raises the stakes for players just enough to not be absolutely awful at this game for a change. Neo Magic Star says, I can't play Splatoon 3, because my little brother is playing Minecraft on our Switch all the time. What can I do? Make it look like an accident. Penny says, have there ever been any ink fish allowed to have a friendly and safe visit to Salmon and Waters? Don't make me tap that sign now. <coughs> Catherine says, do a dance, smiley face. Sure. Ebenezer says, what Splatoon weapon would you use in the Salmon Run? I wouldn't use any, but we would give each small fry an ink brush. Start running. This other dude says, what will happen, if you put a small fry in a big shot launcher? First of all, y'all should get better names. Second, can't say I ever tried it. Let's find out. Let's forget about that, shall we? Zebo says, does Boris actually talk, or does he speak in Morse code? Calm down guys, you're making the big guy nervous. Let's forget about Discord comments and just move on. It's time for the challenge submissions. Here's me pranking Zuna. Starting off decent enough. Good job. Here's someone being a sus sea backup. Me versus Buddhist engage. This image short radiated aurora, very nice. Also, I'll win. There's Blaze turning me into the businessman from Team Defense Sports the second. Great image. It gets a deserved Ricky seal of approval. Here's me in Legoland. That sure was a good time. There I am on two forts, about to get a fair and balanced random crit. Good stuff. This image deserves a seal of approval. Well done. This one is still unfinished it seems, so Slobstein will finish it, for you. 
perfection. But a foolish samurai warrior, wielding a shape-shifting master of darkness, wielding a magic sword, wielding a foolish samurai warrior, wielding a magic sword, wielding an unspeakable evil. Here is a totally real leak. No, I did not get the high score. Yes, I'm pissed. But you do get a seal of approval. Another leak. Will it break the integrity of the game balance? Make of that what you will. Well that was something. It deserves a seal of approval. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ricky's Comments. If you did, like and subscribe to avoid me as your sleep paralysis demon tonight. Also check out the pretty chill Discord server. Cool kids only. That's it for now, my little small fries. See ya later.